Hello, what's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Vintage Therapy. This episode is a special episode like they all are, but as you can see, I have a pair of antique, old, raw, and weathered shutters. <laughs> I was like, what are they called again? They're shutters. These are something I picked up at a uh, kind of like a local antique shop. It was in the Poconos. I have a vision in mind, so just bear with me. What I'm gonna do is turn these shutters into hat racks. So I'm actually doing my studio right now into a boutique style little area uh, for filming here on my YouTube channel. And I am going with kind of like a, you know, vintage industrial meets Victorian vibe. And I thought, you know what, I'm not just gonna do a regular hat rack, we're gonna like turn something into a hat rack. So I picked up these and the process was pretty cool. Check it out. So I settled for these because I feel like the wood is barely touched. It's kind of like raw. It is not like painted or I don't even know if these were stained. They may have been painted before, but whatever was on this is completely off. So I'm going to clean these up. My goal is to stain it this color right here, which is a stain that I got from Lowe's. It's kind of like a warm, dark brown. It's not yellowy or anything, but it is on the warm side because my wall is going to be a really dark blue and I want something that's gonna make the wall pop and vice versa for these pieces. So we're gonna stain this and then what I'm gonna do is add knobs. Oh, <laughs> I was close. These knobs right here, which you can get knobs pretty much anywhere. Um, home goods has them, like basically any home improvement store, Ace Hardware, and we're going to be putting them kind of like this. Really cool, right? So I'm very excited and I also picked up, I'm just gonna keep talking guys, I also picked up this really cool, this really cool piece, which is a lamp. So my goal is to clamp this on the top of the shutter and just have it like light up one of them. I'm actually finishing a lot of the products in this hammered finish right here. So there's other things that I'm like using with this color. This is the burnished amber and rustoleum forged hammered paint and primer in one. And it really does give like a hammered finish, like weathered finish, so I love it. And I'm going to be doing, I believe, I don't know if I should keep the silver. I might keep the silver and just paint like the black parts, the uh, the brush hammer. So that's what I'm thinking. Who knows guys, I always change my mind as I'm doing things, but I'm very excited to see how things are gonna be coming together and I'm kind of antsy to uh, get this done. So let's get started. You guys. <laughs> It is definitely darker than I expected. I actually got like a very not so dark color. Like that's what it's supposed to look like on the cover right there. But um, yeah, it's coming out really dark. Also note, standing shutters is one of the most like intense, complicated and thorough as well as like time consuming task I have ever done. Like going in between each one of those shutter things the sun's going down guys this whole like daylight savings this year is literally killing me <laughs> not trying to be dramatic but getting dark early here is exhausting and i want to go to bed like right now and it's like not even that dark but anywho these are both stained i think they came out pretty cool i mean the color is quite dark but again i'm putting like a light on them so it's gonna you know lighten it up i also have this uh, clear coat which is satin finish. I didn't want it to be too glossy, but I didn't want it to be completely matte because I want them to look, you know, luxurious. So we got to give it a little bit of little shine. Now that the shutters are officially dry, which pretty much took all day, not gonna lie. The drying process of stain takes forever, but I stain them and I put a coat of clear uh, satin like spray paint. And that dried pretty quick too, actually. Um, the brand is pretty decent, so blessed. Now what I'm gonna do, my shutter is down here. I'm going to 
nail holes. We are going to nail holes onto each side. So then, so then I can screw in the knobs. And again, these are just simple knobs. You can get pretty much any hardware store, uh, craft store, or like AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you name it. AC Moore's clothes. RIP, I forgot about that. But anywho, I'm putting them basically on each side and then I'm measuring out with my hat, a hat's back there, just so I can have like the correct dimensions. And I am pretty nervous, not gonna lie, because this is very old. It's aged, it's weathered, and I'm hoping that the wood doesn't crack. So I'm gonna go very slow with the smallest bit that I have for my drill and wish me luck. I don't know if I'm ready to share this. This project came out way better than I could have possibly expected. Honestly, it's probably my best creation yet, not gonna lie. This, this behind me, this hat rack, it's not, it's not just a hat rack, it's a work of art, it's a masterpiece, if I must say so myself. No, I'm just, I'm just busting guys. I'm so excited to finally share with you my hat rack. How freaking amazing did this come out? The lights, the fixtures, the ambiance, it is amazing. I'm very happy that this is exactly what I imagined and it's its here. It's real life, this is my hat rack. This project was honestly such a blast. Finding the shutter and the perfect shutter to be exact, the knobs, I had a vision in mind of like what I wanted to go for and everything just came together so smoothly. I accidentally got a light to just elevate this piece even more and it just, it came together beautifully. I'm really, really, really excited about this one, guys. My whole boutique, my vintage boutique here is coming together beautifully. Um, as you can see, this is a color wall that I chose. I have a ladder shelf right here. Nothing is fully decorated just yet, so stay tuned for a full type of tour video, which I will probably be doing. Let me share with you what this rack looks like with the hats on. And honestly, guys, it looks completely like a boutique. This is not your normal hat rack. This is something that's you know, in a, a luxury store, in a George Shira closet, of course. And I'm extremely pumped with the results. So this is what it looks like with the hats on. Everything is precise and measured in a way that it is, you know, perfection. <laughs> and I love it. And the light honestly really does give it that extra, like, look, this is not just a rack, but this is, this is a moment. Just to give you a ballpark of how much this rack probably cost, I would say around $50. I got two shutters for 30 bucks. That right there is a good portion of the 50. And then with the paints, the stain, and like the light involved, I would say around like 50 bucks. Again, though, when it comes to vintage pieces, you can really find them for various prices. So I don't want to give you like a steady, solid number, but around 50 bucks is probably something I would say something like this a cost, and it is well worth it in my opinion. Now the other shutter I do have here in my studio as well, um, which you'll see you know, throughout my tour, and it's not being used as a rack or anything, but just a piece of art. Thank you for watching this episode of Vintage Therapy, and hopefully I inspired you to go out and restore, flip, and bring life back into something that needs to live again, like maybe an old shutter that was falling apart and in the back of a antique shop. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated. Goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also hit the notification bell. That is very important. If you don't click that, it means you will not be notified when I upload a new video. Also, my Instagram is right here at George Shira. If you want to follow me in there as well. But until next time, and as always, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.